Hello everyone. Uh, so I am going to show you uh, our new feature uh, in Fluent SMTP that is uh, connect your Gmail or Google or Space emails. So this is very exciting uh, feature, new feature. So uh, if you uh, go to the connections and uh, you, you can see Google or Space, so you have to give the, your Gmail or Google or mail from name, and then you have to set up a Google or Space API. So that is a uh, very uh, easy part too. So let's uh, do that. So first you have to go to console.google, console. I think developers.google.com. And then uh, you can see all your APIs. So once you're here, you have to click on, I have all the uh, applications created here. Uh, so I will create the create a uh, new project. So click click on the new project and just give a name. So I'll say friend SMTP uh, connector. Okay. Then I give is like say, click on the create. Once you create that, uh, it will show that uh, this project is creating now. Uh, once it's created, you have to click on this here, and then you have to actually uh, open that so your yeah, connector you have to switch back to that project so friend smtp connector so first thing you have to uh, click on the library and we will just enable gmail api okay so enable that api So it will take a couple of seconds. So I think it's enabled. Yeah, it's enabled. Uh, then you have to, uh, once it's done, uh, you have to click on that again and go to dashboard. And then you have to click on the OAuth uh, consent screen. So in the OAuth consent screen, you have to just give some basic information of your application. So if you are a you know uh, Google Orchispace user, you can click on the internal. So that will be bind with your Orchispace domain or email. Uh, for all other cases or even uh, every cases, you can just click on the external. I'll say uh, external. Then just give a name of your application. Uh, so Fluent SMTP connector. I'll just keep it them support uh, that's fine and you have the app domain but these are only uh, uh, optional but i will still give that e manage ninja.com so you can actually uh, give your web address here so ninja.com so add domain, uh, that's fine. Uh, I'll just add domain and give your email address here too. Seven continue. Uh, in the scope, uh, scope, you don't have to do anything. Uh, seven continue. Uh, here, this is important. You have to add uh, the email address that you want to connect with your WordPress in Fluent SMTP. So I will select uh, gmail.com, uh, add that. Uh, if you want uh, more email address or different sites, you can add that too. So once you are done, uh, you can click add. Uh, so this added, you can actually uh, come any anytime and add more users here. Seven continue and that's done. Go to dashboard. Uh, then you have to click on the credentials. Then you have to create credential and click on the OAuth client ID. There your application type, select the application type as desktop app. And uh, we'll say that uh, Fluent SMTP token, uh, create. So once you create, you, uh, Google will uh, give you a client ID and a client secret. So copy the client ID and paste in clients uh, uh, here the application client id and your client secret copy that and click on the uh, client secrets if you want to save in your con uh, config file uh, you can do that too uh, you can just click here and you have to give the email address that you want to verify so this email address and 
uh, your what consent screen test uh, test email address need to be same so say so like jewel and then we will just we have to so once you give this for information click on the authenticate with google and get uh, access token so then it will uh, redirect to google and you have to select your email address so for me so this is my email address click on that then it will ask you uh, that if you want to allow that or not allow and it will give you the uh, uh, code so copy that code and then uh, paste this code in access token once you're done save the save connection and it's done save the settings and let's try to send an email so we will just send an email test email so it will show email message uh, successfully so let's see if the email uh, goes there or not so yeah here is the email and here is the email so that's it so that is how you can easily connect your uh, fluent smtp with your uh, google or google workspace so thank you guys um, have a good day